Well, it seems like we're either talking about the stock market or Donald Trump or Joe Biden. And right now it is the vice president who's uh, working the phones, according to reports today. And uh, he's going to be trying to lobby or he is trying to lobby some of his uh, fellow Democrats, some of the Democratic leaders in Congress, Democratic National Committee members. He's trying to get support going for the Iranian uh, nuclear deal. Blanche Lincoln, the former senator, on whether or not this lobbying will have any impact on lawmakers who may be have already made their minds up. Uh, what do you think, Senator? Well, I think this, you know, obviously this deal has critical implications. Um, much of the information, the critical information, any um, is classified, and as it should be for good reasons. So I think there's a lot of members that are still looking at some of that critical information. They're still um, getting some of that critical information um, that is classified, and you know they're going to they're going to determine what's best for them. But there's long-term and short-term um, implications that exist here, um, obviously to our national security, to the national security, and um, certainly the security of many of our friends and allies across the globe. So I think members are still really thoughtfully plowing through some of this to figure out what it is that they want to do. So Joe's calls may be helpful to them uh, in one way or another um, in making a determination. What should his, coming, mm -hmm. uh, I should say, what should his angle be? Because to your point, it's a difficult one for Democrats. I mean, look at what happened or what Senator Chuck Schumer went through. We didn't know whether he'd support it. It took a long time and eventually came out against it. So I guess two part question. If you were still in the Senate, how would you vote? And then the second part to what you were just talking about is uh, what can Joe Biden say the vice president to convince people who may be skeptical maybe you would have been one of those people who are skeptical i don't know well, the point is, is it's hard to determine how you're going to vote unless you really do have the information that you need. And right. I wouldn't be able to determine, yeah, I wouldn't be able to say whether I'd vote right. for it or not, because yeah. I, I, don't, I don't have access to that critical information that, that, that um, is, you mm -hmm. know, secure. But I do think that, um, you know, uh, probably the vice president's outreach is to say that we have really worked hard to come up with this agreement. Um, we have worked uh, and, and tried to cover all of the bases uh, to ensure that um, if, if there, if if they don't adhere to uh, the agreement, then all bets are off and that, you know, sanctions immediately go back into place. And certain things that we do know um, are, are parts of this agreement. But I think he also has to appeal to them um, just as a friend and colleague and somebody who has had a tremendous amount of experience in international affairs. I mean, Joe was very well respected and still is very well respected um, around the globe. He's got many friends in, in, in places across the uh, across the the world. And because of that and because of what's in the news and since you're here and we're talking about the vice president, uh, what do you think about the prospect of him running for president? Well, I think Joe is the quintessential public servant. Um, I, you know, I served with him in the Senate. There were several years that we were seatmates next to each other. Mm -hmm. um, he was a he's a very thoughtful person um, and and a, a very good friend. Um, you know, he he's had good friends in, in in much of the the tragedies that he has gone through in his yeah. life. But he's also been a good friend to a lot of members, um, and he knows and understands what public life is about. Um, I think he wants to be focused on the issues that really face our nation whether it's the economy, uh, making sure that government hopefully is doing its job in terms of being more sensible. Um, you know, there's lots of different things out there that I think businesses and industries are up against um, that are keeping them from being as competitive as they should be. Um, a whole host of things. The ozone right, rule comes to mind for me. But, I know he's talked about yeah. it. But it's, and I, know, I understand all the pro, I understand he's likable and understand all that and also understand some of the negatives, but it is, he, he, when he's run in the past, he just it's not like he's come close. He just hasn't done well at all. I wonder why that is. There's a difference between well, being a senator and a president, or even a vice president for that matter. Well, I can remember when I was in the Senate, uh, many of the reporters that covered me said, well, you're boring. <laughs> I said, well, <laughs> I'm you're boring doing fine because, here, senator, I'm I, well, I, you know, <laughs> I believed very strongly in what I was doing and representing the great state of, of Arkansas, my home and my um, the people that I know and love. Um, and I think Joe is very much the same way in terms of he's very intense on governing and being the kind of person that is going to look for the things that are going to make our nation str uh, strong, that are going to reinforce families, that are going to put middle class uh, people ahead of, of, 
uh, of everybody else to get this economy going. Um, and I think that, you know, that sometimes, you know, may come off that way. But I do know that he will be thinking long and hard. Um, I think he'll be focusing on, um, you know, what can, what does he have to offer? Um, and, you know, is there something that he can really help in, uh, us do in this great nation of ours? That'll That's be, the way he's always thinking. It'll be the big story, or one of them, yeah. politically in the next month or so. Um, for sure. See, I'm not bored at all in this interview. It was terrific, Senator uh, Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for coming on. It's good to see you. And you I don't bet. think, uh, I, first time I've ever even heard anybody speculating that uh, Vice President Joe Biden is boring. A lot of things, but not boring. Still ahead, um, back to the Fed and back to the markets. <laughs> Fed rate hike, will they delay it? That seems to be the talk now, all this market uh, turmoil. Well, why we uh, may want to wait before jumping to some conclusions on what this woman and the rest of them at the Fed are going to do. More coming up.